Did you approve of the laugh that he does of you? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I had a say in that one, if I gotta be super Oh, honest. you don't think you had a say in that? You're like, oh, no. And that's probably why. Uh, but I will say something, because he used to talk like this, but now I think he and I sound more alike than we ever have. Yeah. So I don't want to say you sound like that, because then if you sound like that, that means I sound like that, too. That's true. But I know I don't laugh like this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. My answer is no, I did not approve of that fucking laugh. <laughs> Can I tell you, Pete, we'll be walking down the street and someone will drive by and you'll just hear, oh. <laughs> a fucking drive by just throwing out insults oh. out the fucking window. Dude, I find his ball out by the trash can where I empty the trash. He hid his bomb in a weird, like, hobbit bag. <laughs> yeah, like a hand knit. Like, I wouldn't notice his hand-woven 8th century <laughs> hobbit bag that had a pan flute it, in it or some shit. But it was it, it had a fucking bong in it. This dude thinks he's so smart. Didn't that happen? Oh, yeah, it happened. Um, <laughs> can, I, uh, can I tell you something I've never told you before? <laughs> Just, just on that note, just on that note. Wait, 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 wait. This is a live crowd. Do I want to hear yes. something I've never heard before? Does anybody else want to hear it? Okay. You ready? Okay. I don't think I'm smart. I know I'm smart. And I know you're stupid because you found the decoy bomb. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. That makes no sense. Decoy did, bomb. What does that mean? Did you ever even like look at the bomb closely? No. Okay. It didn't work. It was broken. It was cracked in three different sides. There was something stuck in the downstep. You couldn't hit it if you tried. That was, that rhymed by the way. I don't know if anybody got that. That was kind of like a fucking Dr. Seuss shit up here. Um, but so, here's the thing. I started, I did that because it was around the time that I figured out he started snooping. He found a vape in my room and I got Ridiculed. Tobacco vape. Yes, Not yeah, ridiculed. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get ridiculed. You got fucking laid into. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There's a difference. Granted, which is fair. But so, uh, I knew you were snooping. And so I decided to plant something somewhere to where I knew you would find it and then think you found everything and not go look for the actual bong and the actual stash that was just sitting in my room for 10 years. So I'm, I don't think I'm super smart, but I know I'm smarter than you. So. Thank you, Madison, that's my time. Wearing shorts on a date, don't pop that. <laughs> that is some shit. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for a good time to oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this, this is my this is my man right here. He's we're gonna stick together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that last line fucking killed me. <laughs> I don't think I'm smart, but I know I'm smarter than you. It's like <laughs> that really hit hard. The dumbest thing he ever tried to get past me was he came home high one night and his eyes were red and I asked him why and he goes, oh, you know I'm allergic to cats. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> he tried to tell me that the person who's been with him every day of his life that he was allergic to cats. I'm like, you know, we used to have a cat, don't you remember? <laughs> Second dumbest thing, the dumbest thing he ever said to me, he tried to get a lie past me so he took the car, his car to school in the morning, like, you know, 7 a.m., and the school was like a quarter mile from our house. And the school calls me in the morning, it was like, Jacob's late. And it was like, it was easily an hour after school was supposed to start. And I go, okay. And they're like, what do you want to do? I go, I'll talk to him when he gets home. And they're like, okay. So he walks in the door. And I go, hey, man. And he goes, yo. I go, school call. Said you were late getting to school. He's like, yeah, I was. I go, what happened? He goes, I got stuck behind a parade. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking parade! I said on a Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. in front of the school? He goes, yeah, I thought it was pretty weird too. <laughs> and then I 
said to him, I go, so everybody at school was late? He goes, no, I was the last car to make it. <laughs> and he goes, I watched all the floats. He even went floats. I'm like, you thought? I go, what parade was it? He was like, I don't know. They just seem to be celebrating everything. <laughs> Fucking parade. You raise your hand, I will definitely call on you. Yeah, my man. As your dad caught you jacking off. Are you talking to me or him? <laughs> That's actually a good question. Follow-up question. Do, do you... Do you... Well, okay, hold on. Before anybody answers that, I think both of us are going to have a different answer. I think I'm going to say no, because I don't think I've ever been caught. But I think... You might have an answer of, you might have walked in on it and I didn't see you. Here's what's even worse. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I knew that was gonna be the answer, by the way. Like, he was gonna say yes, and I was gonna say, when? It wasn't me. I have it wasn't zero. me. It wasn't me, it was your mom. She walked into the bedroom, ghost white, shut the door, and she goes, I'm never going in his room again. <laughs> And right away, I was like, oh, he was jerking off, huh? She was like, how'd you know? I'm like, that's the only thing that would elicit that well, response. Shit. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> but you know what's equally a bummer? He and I were doing a live stream. Oh, yeah. Live yeah, yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousands of people. And he goes, did I ever tell you when I walked in on you and mom? I was like, what? <laughs> and I said to him, I go, dude, how old are you? I was thinking he's going to say I was like seven. How old did you say you were? 18. <laughs> It's my senior year of high school. Just looking for the car keys, goddammit. Just looking for the fucking car keys. You know where they weren't? Not fun. In my asshole. <laughs> Unfortunately, in your jeans. Um, all right. But, but so I've never caught him jerking off, uh, but my wife has. And um, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. That's funny as shit. I like it. How about this one? How about this one? What does I say? I'm 23. I'm 21, and my parents still like acting like I'm a kid. What do I tell them? Oh, okay. Why don't you go first, and then I'll go. <laughs> I mean, I guess it all depends if, he st if they still live at the house or not. It's kind of... Bingo. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? If you live at the house, you're treated like a kid. You move out, that may not change. Tell but at least you'll be in your own place. <laughs> Tell them the video you sent me your first morning when you woke up in your first apartment. Oh, okay, yeah. So I still had boxes and shit everywhere. I didn't do anything the first night. I put together my bed so I had a place to sleep after I got super high that night to celebrate that I moved out. <laughs> Other than that, I just saved everything for, you know, the next week. I woke up the next morning, and in my fringe, I had nothing. I had a case of beer. And in my cabinet, I had a box of cereal. So there's only one obvious thing to do there, right? So I, you know, pulled my phone out and I took a video of me pouring beer into my cereal and eating it and then taking a bong rip. And then I, that was the first thing I sent to him. Yeah. <laughs> you, remember, you remember what I said? You remember what you said? You took a bite, you took the bong rip, you blew it out, and you went, in my own place, bitch! <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty excited. Yo, man, my, I would say to that person, and I don't know you, and I don't know your situation, but you don't want to be treated like a kid, stop acting like a fucking kid. Yo, man, I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to be treated like a kid, but, but I live at my parents' place. Well, then guess the fuck what? Yep. If your parents still fold your socks, you got to listen to their dumbass rules. That's the only deal. <laughs> yeah, you want to go get your... I, we, we When he... He dropped out of college, and I was fine with that, man. You get to make your own decisions after you're 18. But he was like, I'm just going to stay here at the house. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> Grown people who are in the workplace don't live at my fucking house. And I go, you got three months, and then we'll help you find a place, but you got to get out of here. And I go, I think it'll be, remember this? I go, <laughs> I go, <laughs> I go, I, listen, I give him the whole speech. I think it'll be good for you, man. It'll be good for your confidence. It'll be good for you figuring out how do you, you, you need to do things on your own. And the, you want to make a grown-up decision, you got to have make grown-up choices, man. And you have to, grown-up things will happen, but I think it'll be good for your confidence, and I think it'll be good for you in the long run. And he looks at me, and he goes, agree to disagree. <laughs> still trying to save some money, man. And I was Damn like, it. I don't know what the fuck that means, but you're still moving out, so. Does that ever happen to you where you guys, you feel good about yourselves? You're like, I feel pretty good. And then your grown human walks by, and you're like, is that my grown human? That happens to me all the time, man. You know, I, when, when, when we left Los Angeles, we don't live in Los Angeles anymore. And when we left there, Jacob 
stayed in LA. And um, I went to visit him. And he goes, you can, you can hang out at my apartment when I'm at work. <laughs> I said, okay. And I went to visit his apartment. And I called him from his apartment when he was at work. And I go, hey, man. He goes, hey. I said, I just want you to know it's payback time. <laughs> so I'm going to jerk off in your bathroom and steal your weed. <laughs> and he said, don't do that. <laughs> I said, too late, one down, and I'm looking for the weed. And don't use that towel on your face. But here's the deal. We did a podcast a couple weeks ago where we had talked about how I, I kind of was a scapegoat for two of my friends. Uh, all three of us lived on the same street through high school, uh, so we were all neighbors. But their parents were not as cool as mine. So I, I knew that I could be the scapegoat for, you know, if we have, they ever got caught smoking weed. I'd be like, just don't say it was your idea. Blame it on me. Great. One of their parents, a set of parents came over to the house yeah. to give me a talk. <laughs> and I was like, listen, dude, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rat you out. I'm not going to rat them out. But in solidarity with you for this meeting, I'm going to be high as fuck. <laughs> yeah. So I got <laughs> super high and just <laughs> dipped ruffles into ranch dip the whole meeting. It's a power move. <laughs> this one is my absolute favorite story about my youngest son. And um, so here's a couple things you need to know about him going in. First of all, my youngest son, here's what I love the most about him. No matter where he is, that's the best place he's ever been. <laughs> Yo, that dude does not know how to have a bad time. He, he look, he, and it's a great, I envy that attitude. Does, and by the way, look, his energy is crazy. I could put him down at any of your tables. He could talk to any of you for an hour, and you'd be like, oh, I know this dude for a decade. Like, it's crazy, that kind of, I don't even know if you call it a skill, but it's, it's born, you know? He is also the dumbest of my three kids. <laughs> now, he's not dumb. I'm not saying he's dumb. But who has multiple kids in here? Anybody have multiple kids? Hey, look, if you got multiple kids, You've got a dumb one, too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> they may not be stupid, but there's a stupidest one out of all of them. That's the dumb one. And I'm going to tell you something else. <laughs> if you've got more than one kid, you have had this conversation with your partner in the bedroom. <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do with the dumb one? We're gonna let him walk out there by himself? He's so fucking stupid, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here's my favorite story about my son. So, uh, a, a long time ago, a long time ago, um, when I uh, was a single guy, I used to take the kids down to Mexico and um, on day trips. And because Mexico, I lived in Southern California, it was cheap, you could go down there for $50, it's a new culture, you know what I mean? It's a new country, and it's a super cool adventure, you know? So, but you couldn't go until you were seven. So by the time Jakey turned seven, I was married, and, but he was like, I want to go to Mexico. And I said, cool. And he was, guys, driving down to Mexico, he was pumped. <laughs> the whole way, right? Just fucking pointing things out. He's like, is that Mexico? I'm like, no, that's Home Depot. Uh, <laughs> But we're driving down there. We get to Mexico. We're there for about an hour. And he turns to me, he goes, ha, dad! I love, and by the way, he has always stood like Forrest Gump. I have no idea why. <laughs> this dude has always, he used to, he was a great baseball player. He did a double and slide into second and he'd pop up like this. <laughs> and I was always, I was always like, great hit, buddy. Put your hands down, great hit. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Well, you know. So we're there for an hour. And he goes, ha! Dad, I love Mexico. Everybody here is so smart. And I was like. <laughs> I 
What makes you say that, man? He goes, ha! They all know how to speak Spanish! And I was like, oh, 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 come here, you dumb motherfucker. Okay. Daddy's gonna take care of you for as long as he has to, I guess. You're gonna live with me till you're 40, aren't you, buddy? We were there for another hour. And this dude decides he can speak Spanish. Because to him, it sounds like this. And I go, hey man, hey, hey. I said, do not speak the Spanish. And he goes, no, I know how to speak it. I go, no, you don't, I don't. So we walk around for a while, we end up going to a restaurant, you know? And we sit down, and the dude drops two menus, and in English, he says to me, what can I get you to drink? I said, I would love a Modelo, please. He said, absolutely. And in English, he says to my son, what can I get you to drink, young man? My son's looking at the menu, and he's like. And he goes, Mexican Coke. I go, what are you saying to this dude? And he walks away. I go, Jakey, what I tell you, man? Do not speak the Spanish. And he goes, no, I know how to talk it. I go, no, you don't. And he got really cocky. He goes, he took my order. I was like, you said the word Coke, bruh. You know what I mean? I said, listen, man, I know you don't understand this, and I, don't, I know you don't mean to, but you're insulting this man's culture and his heritage and his language, and you're doing it right to his face. And I'm telling you right now, that's not okay. So under no circumstance are you to speak the Spanish ever again. Do you understand me? And he goes, yes, Dad. So we finish up our food, right? And uh, because I tell him not to speak the Spanish, he's sulking, and he's like, I just want to go home. I said, all right. He goes, can I lay down on the back seat? and go to sleep, and I was like, sure. So we're driving up to the border, and uh, the border patrol guy, he says to me, he goes, uh, can I see your ID? And I said, yeah, and he goes, great. He said, you got a birth certificate for the kid? I said, no. Why do I need a birth certificate for my kid? And he said, well, I gotta make sure every child that leaves Mexico is a Mexican. How do I know he's not Mexican? And I was like. <laughs> so I said, Jacob, speak the Spanish. <laughs> this dude's head popped up from the back seat like. <laughs> And the guy just looked at me, and he looked at him, and he was like, have a great day. <laughs> We're driving out of Mexico, right? 15 minutes, no, we, neither one of us said anything. And he's just looking out the back window, and it's rolled down, and he's got the wind blowing in his face. And I just hear him mumble under his breath. I told you I know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> Fucking dick. The question was, what was the thing that truly pissed you off that your dad did to you to encourage you to fight him? He took all my underwear out, replaced it with panties, and they all had a day of the week on them, right? <laughs> so Monday, Monday through Sunday, right? I used to tell him, put your Mondays on, dude. Come on out here. He was like, fuck you! <laughs> the thing that oh, infuriates this. me or infuriated me the most, he used to put a glob of Vaseline in each one of my hoodie pockets, my jacket pockets, sometimes my pants pockets. So I put everything on and be like, all right, I'm ready to go. And I'd put my hand in my pocket and it was just, <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, that I pissed knew, me it, yeah, off. Yeah, I knew like, that was it. Yeah. Yo, it's seven in the morning and I'm going to school. I'm already not the happiest person in the world. Add sticking my hand in petroleum jelly <laughs> at 7.15 in the morning doesn't make me feel a lot better, you know? I don't know if I 
question, I just want to say thank you for making me let, feel less ashamed that I have more accidents than my two kids. Did he just call me an accident? I'm a little confused here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. I don't know if that was directed at me or not. Um, <laughs> I sure fucking hope not, man. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell your brother and sister that. <laughs> You're gonna have a new nickname around the house, I think. <laughs> 